because everybody just wanted to do the product rule. All right, so again, if we're looking at this example, um, let's go ahead and figure out in, the, in here where our define the critical value. We want to take the derivative when the derivative is zero and when the derivative is undefined. So it looks like everybody at least did the product rule, so I'll do it that way. If we're going to take the derivative then, we have our two terms separated by a product. So derivative of my first term, I'm going to bring down the 3 fifths times x to the negative 2 fifths times 4 minus x. And then that's going to be plus x to the 3 fifths times the derivative of 4 minus negative x, which is a negative 1. Yes? Yes? Because uh, I'm subtracting, uh, subtracting 1, which would be 5 over 5. Now, obviously, we want to kind of get this looking the same. So we'd want to um, rewrite this with this in the denominator. So we could have 3 over 5 times the fifth root of x squared. And that's going to be times. 4 minus x minus x to the 3 fifths. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. OK, well, so let's. Uh, mm. So if we look at this, guys, if we're just going to look at when this is undefined, wouldn't you guys agree when x is undefined? Yes? So we could say that h of prime of x is undefined at x equals 0. Now, we want to figure out when these are all equal to 0. Um, one thing I might want to do is actually combine these to get common denominators. So I can multiply by 5 fifth root square root of x squared, where 5 times the fifth root, actually, yeah, 5 fifth root of x squared. So we'd have h prime of x is equal to 3 times 4 minus x um, times, let's see, the fifth root of x cubed. Let's rewrite it like this. fifth root of x cubed. So therefore, that's going to be um, minus. You can multiply these, so that'd be 5. Fifth root times x cubed, you're going to add the power. So that's going to be the fifth root of x to the fifth, which is just going to be a 5x. Is anybody seeing where I just did some of that math? Does anybody see where I got it, or is everybody OK with that? If you're not, you can just say, hey, could you just? Is that OK? x cubed times x squared is x root x is just x. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes? No. Nope. Like square root of 3 times square root of 3 is the square root of 9. Okay. Right? So you still you multiply the radicals, but you keep the radical there. You could have. I mean, I, I was using radical. Um, you mean like to? Yeah, I mean, whatever your preference. But now, we already know it's undefined at 0, right? And that kind of confirms here. But now we also want to find when is h of x is equal to 0. Now, if it's OK with you guys. I'm going to distribute that a or simplify that a little bit. You guys see I just did a little distributive property. Is that OK? All right. And then obviously, guys, if we want to fi find when x is equal to 0, if I multiply this on both sides, we don't really care about what's in the denominator, do we? Do we care about what's in the denominator? No, because when you multiply it on both sides, guys, you just get 0, right? So therefore, we have 0 equals 12 minus 8x. Can we now solve for x here? 
So subtract 12, or just add an 8x to both sides. So therefore, we have 8x is equal to 12. Divide by 8, divide by 8. x is equal to, um, you could keep it as that, or you could divide by, what, 4 on the top and bottom, and you get 3 halves. So we'd say our critical values occur at x equals 0 and x equals 3 halves. Please let me know if you have any questions or confusion on where I got any of those values.